in the first time the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel and the El Harim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Four thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a vaguer warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Higara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. Mothership recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet Command, online. Mothership status report. Engineering, online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Course deleted. This is Fleet Intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. 
Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Acknowledged. So, having completed both Homeworld and Homeworld Cataclysm, we're now on to Homeworld 2. Salvage target acquired. Uh, and we are building, or rather, we are finishing the construction of the Pride of Vegara to combat the Vegas threat. Um, so we're doing some trials, you know, like we did when we left Karak in Homeworld 1, and nothing's going to go wrong there. Um, I was just checking to see which one of these had 700 RUs, because uh, prioritizing those ones. But this resource collector should just collect the rest of them. It's all good. Resourcing systems fully operational. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Uh, the main difference between uh, Homeworld and uh, Cataclysm, or well, Homeworld, Homeworld Cataclysm, and Pride of Figara is that the uh, Pride of Figara, Homeworld Two. Homeworld 2 uses subsystems uh, as tech unlocks, so uh, you get the fire facility, which means that you can build fighters. You get the corvette facility, which means you can build corvettes. Um, it also means that someone can destroy a fighter facility, making it impossible for you to build fighters until you rebuild the facility. Uh, there's also a research module, an advanced research module, which will allow you to research upgrades, um, but they're done by individual units rather than techs affecting multiple units at once. We'll get into that later. Probably in the second mission. Uh, second mission. There's also a lighting glitch here. Mothership which is weird. fighter facility complete. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. Right. We go produce an interceptor production squadron. Production underway. Or production three. underway. Um, interceptor say your fighters. I don't really need to say anything else uh, apart from they're only good against fighters, which is kind of rubbish, but they are faster than uh, pretty much anything else that does anti-fighter stuff. And will become even faster when we get the tech to increase their speed. Um, we're going to keep uh, on auto-launch, and sadly at the end of missions it will automatically put on auto-launch, which is annoying. Because in uh, Homeworld Cataclysm we had the ability to uh, stay docked and all, uh, all of our strike craft would stay indoors. Interceptor squadron complete. I also have to get used to panging the camera. Stand by to begin combat trials. Perimeter Station Chimera will assist by providing target drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. Yeah, uh, pretty standard stuff, I guess. Production underway. Uh, we're going to hold off a bit so that we can build another interceptor squadron. Uh, now, the thing that I'm going to really hate interceptor squadron is that complete. we don't have the ability to uh, speed up time at all. Standing by. I'm going to miss that feature. It was really useful. Uh, I think two interceptor squadrons should be good for now. Yeah. Strike group to battle position. You are now control group one. Group one designated. Thank you. It's not taking up too much space, no. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this uh, menu here closed when I don't need it, but I'm going to need it a lot, because uh, it gives me useful information. Alternatively, I can just do this. No, not that. This. And it will show me my productions. Complete. My production stuff. Then this will show populations. Copy. Meanwhile, we can have a look at our um, fighters doing their thing against these target drones. Group 1 reports victory. Attention Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates Vega Bomber Strike Force. This is 
is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base. This is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in. Awaiting orders. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vager bombers. Way ahead of you, fleet intelligence. Right, let's, uh... Let's do this. Well, technically, right? One uh, we can enter a claw formation and it will uh, combine multiple squadrons. So two squadrons will turn into effectively one strike group. Which is like having, uh, you know, a larger squadron. It's pretty cool. station is offline. The Vega have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Please crews, stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tannis. Primary couplings released. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact, two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Right, we're gonna start building some bombers as recommended. We should have enough fighters at this instance. Uh, we are going to split them up into more squadrons just so we can kill uh, the rest of the bombers. Uh, this uh, Tannis base platform uh, helps with anti-fire stuff, but it's only got 80 damage Standing in comparison by. to the 23 the each of our fighters have. Group one copies. Which means they're good against fighters, but they're not Great useful against frigates at all. Hence the bombers. Uh, I think we've also resourced the entire area, which Bomber is lovely. We're going to set bombers to group two, and we're going to have them... How have you taken damage already? Oh my god. Right, we're going to dock with the mothership so that we can replenish some of the squadron. Uh, we have about 50 seconds until we have uh, enemy units incoming. You are clear to dock. There we go. There's our bomber squadron fully Copy. replenished for no resource cost, I don't think. Bomber squadron complete. Group one standing uh, by. Group one is still fine, but we're going to have them redock. We've got we've got enough time, actually. Yeah. Uh... Confirmed. Group one reporting. Strike group prepare for priority alert. Group two copies. The Vega are using hyperspace gates. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements through them. These gates must be destroyed. Strike group, prepare for assault. 
Yeah, uh, the Vega of the ability to hyperspace in fighter craft. Group one. Which is not something typically available. Order confirmed. Group two. And I think all of these guys are just bombers. Yeah, so we're going to have our interceptors deal with the fighters, and then we're just going to use our bombers to kill the uh, hyperspace gates. Group two, reinforced. Strike group attack order confirmed. All right. Group one, standing by. Group one, engage all enemies, please. Gate destroyed. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. All right, we're going to build one more bomber squadron. Oh, no, we can't. We're, we're, we're out of money, so let's stop building. One. Right, okay, so that's all the hyperspace gates down. Let's use the bombers to attack bombers. Because that's not going to be ineffective at all. Long range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. The Faker have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive. 